No excuse. Mr. Yip Honwing, next question. Compressed Work Week is one of several flexible work arrangements that employers may offer to their employees. A standard work week is condensed into fewer than five days and employees complete the expected workload within a shorter work week, with the total number of hours worked remaining the same. In such arrangements, the employee does not need to contemplate reducing his income in exchange for greater flexibility in work days, since the actual workload and total hours worked in a week do not differ from that of a person on a standard work week. In 2020, about one in 10 establishments offered compressed work week as a flexible work arrangement to their employees. Companies can refer to the Tripartite Alliance for Fair and Progressive Employment Practices Tafep website for more information and resources on how to implement compressed work week arrangements, including policy templates and case studies of companies that have successfully done so. Mr. Deputy Speaker, the government will continue to work with tripartite partners to promote flexible work arrangements. It's useful to remember that flexible work arrangements are not limited only to remote work or hybrid work, and the concept of compressed work week is a form of flexible work arrangement that is suitable for certain jobs and some employees, but not all. In promoting workplace flexibility, we encourage companies to implement the type of flexible work arrangement that best suits the business and the employees. Thanks. Mr. Yip Honbeng. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. I thank the SMS for a reply. Can MOM further recognise HR best practices such as shorter work weeks and flexible work arrangements? Also, to what extent are HR practices a factor in tender specifications? For instance, either as a tiebreaker or hygiene factor. Are there plans to ensure that good HR practices are further recognised in government tenders and procurement processes? Thank you. I thank the Honourable Member for the SQ. Um, it is in our interest to recognise companies with good workplace practices that are progressive. Indeed, one example is the Human Capital Partnership, uh, which basically recognises uh, such employers and uh, employers that are in this HCP, Human Capital Partnership, enjoy faster response and better service standards from a dedicated hotline that they can call and uh, can get advice from the government on schemes and grants from the government to s promote human capital development and also to support the companies in implementing flexible work arrangements. There are about 600 companies uh, in the list right now and we do encourage more companies to be nominated or to nominate themselves for, uh, you know, to be part of this HCP partnership. On the member's suggestion that uh, for tender specifications and government procurement, uh, for us uh, to include this as a consideration, I think we, we will have to recognise that um, for uh, tender specifications, it's important that we try to keep it as objective and uh, to, uh, uh, you know, to make sure that the basic fundamentals of uh, uh, KPI, work performances, business requirements, all these which are the basics remain core um, for um, recognition of uh, progressive workplaces and progressive employers. We do have other other ways you know to uh, recognize them as well thank you <laughs>